today is Test It Tuesday. Test It, Test It Tuesday. Test It, Test It Tuesday. <laughs> Hello, hello, my name is Akos and welcome to my channel, Akos, where you at? On today's Tested Tested Tuesday episode, I will be testing out a Chloe Ting workout program. So if you have not heard about Chloe Ting, you are absolutely missing out. I love to watch different workout videos and she is one of my favorites. Um, if you have not heard of her, I will include her YouTube link down below or you can just search her on YouTube. She has tons of exercise programs and she also offers mostly free programs. So her free programs can range from maybe two weeks to 25 plus days or so. So it's up to you to pick the type of program that you think is best for you. Now, I have done several of her workout videos, like individual videos, but I've never completed a full program from her. So I decided that I would challenge myself and try to maybe finish out a full two-week program. So let's watch and see how my two-week program went so I did a 14 day program it was her um, I believe it was the summer rip program I'll make sure to add the actual description of the one that I did but yes it was 14 days long and y'all I'm gonna tell you this it was not easy but I'm gonna just go ahead and spoil it right now I did not finish and you will be so upset with me to know what day I decided to quit <laughs> but I, I had to I had to so let me let me actually get into details of exactly what happened so the first two weeks I was really the first week I was really excited and I was pumped up each day I would wake up I will start the exercise and I even decided to get one of my friends on board so he started doing it with me too but on like day six or so I lost him <laughs> and he was like nah this is too much like he had a lot going on a lot on his plate so he just fell off and I'm like crap well I can't quit because I decided to record this <laughs> so that was like my purpose of recording like if I recorded it then I have to complete it so I was like okay let's keep going so the first rest day came I love that uh, she does include rest days the first rest day came and I was like okay well perfect I'm gonna rest today and I'm keep going and then several days started where I would actually have to go into the office and I'm like well now I got to switch things around a little bit to make it fit my schedule that's the hardest thing about doing different programs when it's made by someone else you have to alter it to make it fit your schedule or else you're gonna be beating yourself up trying to trying to live up to the expectation that is set already like you're going to beat yourself up trying to stick to that routine and it just might be impossible for you to do so I had to come into terms with that and I started switching my rest days around today's where I would have to go into the office I would make that a rest day because by the time I come back I'm exhausted like I, I'm done and then the days that I'm working from home I would work out as soon as I finish like as soon as I log off my computer and I finish from work now some days were definitely harder than other days uh, especially with her workouts the hardest part for me was everything that involved my wrist and my hands and unfortunately this program seems to have a lot of it so I have issues with my wrist and my arms again I have been editing and working it as a production assistant for like five years so using my hands repetitively and working on the computer all the time gives me like bad bad issues I want to say it's carpal tunnel but I haven't been diagnosed for it so I'm not going to say that but it gives me horrible issues with my wrist and my hands all of certain days workouts wear wrist and hands 
and I'm just like good lord I would try to alter and make it fit and like be on my elbows instead but it was just too much after a while I kept going and then the second week it was just too much it was hurting like crazy and I'm like I can't there's so many of them that I couldn't just sit out the whole time or alter it completely because then that that really doesn't fit me going with her workout plan least so my least favorite day of her workout plan had to be the core and arms day I don't mind the core I love doing core workouts again I love to um, I would love to learn how to do more inversions and I know to do those you need a stronger core so I don't mind that at all but the arms part it was just way too much and finally it got to week two on week two I I just it just wasn't there like the motivation wasn't there and the motivation to talk myself through being on my arms that much and then trying to reason with myself that it's okay and I can just ice it afterwards it just wasn't worth it so I made it all the way let's see what day I made it to I'm actually checking my phone right now I made it all the way to day 13 day 13 after day 13 I stopped and I'm like you can do it two more days two more days two more days but I couldn't I just couldn't like <laughs> you can be like just suck it up just suck it up and do it it's only two more days left I couldn't reason with myself why I was trying so hard to finish the challenge like I love her workouts her individual workouts and doing them day by day I could legit choose her workouts to do and be like I'm gonna do this workout and make this my plan and tweak it for me I can do that but just this plan wasn't for me so if you do decide to do a Chloe Ting program first of all look through preview the days I didn't do that look through the days and if you have any issues like remember your your safety is first and if you have any like back issues or arm issues look through the videos try to modify for yourself do this ahead of time so that you're not in the middle of doing the workout and you realize oh crap I can't do this so modify for yourself and modify for what fits right for you so unfortunately I cannot be part of the I finish a Chloe Ting program crew I did not finish I stopped on day 13 as I said I didn't even make it to the last day 14 and after that I switched to a completely different workout program that my friend is helping to create for me so with that one he has he knows the issues that I have with my wrist so he tries to limit the time that I'm doing exercises involved in that for example with the Chloe Ting workout the up and down planks that seemed like it was in every video <laughs> and I'm like that is perfect planks are wonderful but there is just so many ways you can modify up and down planks so when I was in the middle of working out and it just said up and down planks, I'm like what the heck am I gonna do so I would just do planks on my um, elbows and I would just do low planks and that was a good modifier for that but after a while it just wasn't worth it to me anymore I still love Chloe Tang and I still love her workouts and I definitely will be doing some individually and I would love to try again and do a different program but next time I will definitely be previewing the workout before I do it now the big question is did I see results I have to honestly say that I did see results and I felt results so what I mean by I felt results were was that um, after a while the I felt like I was stronger and able to complete the workout like initially when I first started I was winded and out of breath um, I was previously working out before this program but it wasn't as extreme as hers so I would feel winded and I would feel like I can't make it through the whole thing so I would struggle to get through the whole thing but towards the end of the first week I was able to fully make it through most of the workouts without modifying unless I absolutely had to like I said unless it involved the wrist so I think you definitely do notice an internal change like it makes you feel stronger 
physically I did notice just a little bit I wish I took more before and after pictures but I did not I don't know if you'll be able to notice a difference in the videos but again since I did not finish my last two days I did not record like a after video so hopefully next time I'll be able to record that now let's talk about why some people are doing this workout and not seeing any changes. So if you are deciding to do a Chloe Ting workout, you can't just assume that working out for two weeks is all you need to see these chiseled abs and drastic <laughs> and drastic changes in your body. That's just that's not how that that wasn't my mentality of going through this. My mentality of going through this was I currently stopped a membership that I was doing like a I had a gym membership I had actually I had a kickboxing membership and I had to stop because it was corona season I wasn't getting the same benefits from it doing it through zoom so I figured if I'm going to be paying for zoom exercises I might as well just cancel that membership and like it was really expensive too so I might as well cancel that membership and do a free workout plan until corona passes and we're able to go back in like I am that type of person that physically need to be somewhere unless I choose that it's a workout video that I want to do myself it's hard for me to wake up and log in and be online with people in zoom that just that whole platform just wasn't working for me so when I went into this I wasn't expecting these chiseled abs just in two weeks abs are made in the kitchen I have to say that again abs are made in the kitchen like that's where it initially starts out you're gonna be working out like you're going to be overexerting yourself without realizing that you have to change your diet so that's probably why most people are not seeing results when it comes to doing the two-week program it's just not realistic to be honest to expect chiseled abs some people are able to do it because they have a good diet they're able to eat the calories that they need in the day and they're able to burn more than they eat so they are constantly at a deficit they burn more calories than like they exercise more than the calories that they take in so that's the perfect balance of what I am doing moving forward and what I have been doing to be honest but that's the perfect balance of it so if you've noticed that you've tried this workout program and it just wasn't working for you remember I believe she also has videos on things that she eats throughout the day there's several videos online that you can look up on what to eat throughout the day to still get the calories that you need maybe to decrease the amount of food that you're eating in a day and try that and let's see how that goes <laughs> Though I did not finish her program personally, if you have tried her program and been able to complete it, comment below how your results were or how your whole experience was. Which program did you try and maybe you would recommend for me instead of this one, instead of the two week shred program. And I definitely will keep doing her workouts. I don't necessarily know if I'll do a program, but I do love individual workouts and videos that she posts and I would prefer doing that. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in me doing more Tested Tuesdays where I test out different workout programs, let me know and I'll definitely do that and give my feedback about if I finish. Hopefully, I'll be finishing most of them and how the whole experience went. Uh, rise and shine, gotta get the day started. Sun beaming in my 